The 2024 edition of the BET Awards, an award created to celebrate black entertainers and other minorities in music, film, sports, and philanthropy, is now live at the Peacock Theatre in LA. And in usual BET fashion, we surely expected our black entertainers and celebrities to show up in their head turning and glamorous look. Now, while some did exactly just that and gagged us with their amazing looks, others just failed to stand out and looked a hot boo boo mess. So, here are the top 10 was dressed at the BT Awards 2024. Take a look. First up on our was dressed list, we have the super talented Duwechi. And for the BET Awards 2024, she had on this black slip dress with lace detailing and she was styled by the amazing Sam Wolf. And I really haven't seen Duwechi step out for like an award show throughout this year other than the time that she went for the I Heart Radio Award. And while I think that her look for that event was really interesting, it was funky and it was definitely true to who she was as an artist and as a person, this look on the other hand just did not do it for me. I mean, this look in itself was boring, it just did not portray her essence and it just did not portray her style in any way, shape or form and that to me was pretty basic Betty for me. Now, quite frankly, it definitely looked like Joachi was ready to go to bed in this look because this was giving me very nice wear realness and I just wasn't really feeling it for her. Now, this hair on the other hand just looks really odd on her. The jewelry just felt like something from an entirely different era and the shoes were just a no-no for me i definitely expected better from the way she but unfortunately this look just did not give me the look that i needed it to give me so yeah this look by the way she is gonna be a chop for me up next we definitely cannot match her freak in this look we have the viral sensation tanache and for the BET Awards 2024, she had on this grey and white asymmetric sheer long dress by Guvanj Agajumayev. And this was just a big no-no for me. I mean, I can't even begin to understand the structure of this dress because this is very much just lost on me. And it just looked like she was attacked by a great fire. And that in itself just burnt off most of the clothing. And she was like, hey, we'll make this fashion. I mean, this sheer fabric just looks a hot booboo mess the rope detailing that just went inside this sheer fabric just seemed a bit confusing to me and her hair just looks really thirsty i don't know i was really hoping that she was going to show up and show up for the bt awards but this look is just a bit disappointing to me so yeah this look by tenashe is gonna be a chop for me up next on our list we have the gorgeous flu millie and for the bt awards 2024 she had on this black lacy mini dress moment and i don't know i really don't know what it was tonight but it just felt like there was a battle of who could show the most skin tonight and while i'm really not against that or why i'm really not opposed to that to say the least the big question is whether you can pull off such look in such a glamorous way i mean in such a way that doesn't really look tacky and i just feel like this look right here was just riding the wave of looking heavily tacky and i just wasn't gagged by this now it just really had no real design detail and it just was giving me very fast fashion vibes and while this could be okay for like a club or like the night out with the girls it just was not hitting for me for an actual red carpet moment now this lacy type fabric was just giving me very dolce and gabbana tees kind of like the one that beyonce had on for the renaissance world tour and if this look were to be a bit longer with like sleeves detailing it just would have been a totally different conversation but it's not so it definitely looks tacky i don't know this look just doesn't do it for me it was trying too hard to be noticed and it just did not stick out for me in the fashion department so it's gonna be a chop for me up next we should definitely put the blame on him for this atrocity before us we have the legendary akon and for the bet awards 2024 he had on this white suit set and a red inner shirt and what's in the valentine or christmas day celebration is going on here i mean what really gave him the idea to have his inner shirt out like that 
and who really told him it was a good idea to have his sleeves folded up like that i mean i just really couldn't take this red and white color scheme seriously because this in itself just felt like a choir uniform and the fit was just a blithering mess now you thought that you definitely have seen it all you were definitely wrong because what are those shoes and why has he tucked his white pants into them i mean this definitely looked like it rained on his way here so he was trying to be very protective of his pants and he showed up in a rain boots more so his accessories just feel a bit dated and unappealing and let's just say this look was just not something i would stand behind so yeah this look by akon is gonna be a chop for me up next we have the incredible rap stress remy ma and for the bt awards 2024 she had on this fully stone mini dress and i'm sorry this look was just not it for me yet again now like i said before it definitely looks like the brief for tonight's red carpet was body and nudity for some reason and this look in itself was just a tacky iteration of that i mean she's definitely leaving no room for imagination with this look and the worst thing about it is that it just does not feel classy or elevated to me now maybe if this beading moment was just a top and maybe she had like a black long skirt attached to it maybe and just maybe it would have been a different story but she does not so it just looked a blithering mess and it just looked really tacky to me now i just thought that we left this kind of hoochie you know trying to hard look in 2018 but i guess not because remy ma is with this here yet again i mean this look just felt very tacky to me so it's gonna be a chop for me up next we have the amazing Mooney Long and for the BT Awards 2024 she had on this silver encrusted strapless top with zero pants I mean none I mean nada because I cannot in good faith call this even a mini dress because it is not i mean is that what we're really doing now just putting on tops and calling it a day because i'm really genuinely confused now i do have questions how does she intend to move around in this or how does she even intend to sit in this because one wrong move and the goodies are out for the world to see i mean this look in itself just feels very tacky it looks really unfinished and we need to definitely send Mooney homes to get her buttons because i'm sorry this can definitely not be the entirety of the dress no this won't do for me so yeah this look by Mooney long has to be a chop for me up next we have the super eccentric Liu Mo and for the BET Awards 2024 she had on this purple strapless top, a purple bomb shirt and purple tall metallic shoes and this look was just definitely a lot to take in. I mean I really don't know who this diva is but it's giving me very wrestler. Yes it's giving me very I'm here to fight for that WWE championship and win that belt while at it because why else would you show up for an award show like this i mean this look in itself just feels very costumey and gimmicky and it's just kind of giving me very cosplay meet halloween and that to me is definitely a no-no on the red carpet for me i really don't know what else to say it's a lot for me so it's gonna be a chop for me up next we have the beautiful andre day and for the BT Awards 2024, she had on this silver cage-like long dress by Abodi and she was styled by the incredible Rove Revise. And the nudity contest definitely strikes again and Andra is taking the tacky route with this one. I mean, this dress in itself just looks like a cage. So maybe she's trying to catch good fashion choices with it but I'm sure it's doing the exact opposite of this because this look was just one urban monstrosity and i can really not get over that now this dress in itself just looks like a field art and craft project and i'm just a bit puzzled as to how she thought this was going to be such a sleigh on the red carpet now this look would only look great in a trash can or a trash bin never to be seen by human eyes again because that is what this dress totally deserves Ooh! i'm really traumatized just by looking at this so this is just gonna be a chop for me up next we have sexy red and for the bt awards 2024 she had on this black mesh see-through midi dress and i mean where is the glamour is the glamour in the room with us i mean this is just a black mesh dress it's been seen it's been done this looks 
extra tacky because why do you have that money stack with you and why do you have that big overriding chain it's just a blithering mess for me i'm sorry this is a chop for me finally on our was dress list we have the legendary ti and for the BT Awards 2024, he had on this pastel blue, you know, really comfy shirt. And tell me you don't want to be at an event without telling me you don't want to be at the event. This is exactly what it feels like. I mean, did he miss his way home? I don't understand. Like, why has he shown up like this? This is too regular, schmegular, too casual, too not trying at all. I mean stay home if you're going to dress like this it's a chop for me i'm sorry all right guys we have come to the ending of today's video in today's video i shared with you guys my top 10 was dressed at the bt awards 2024 if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to give it a big fat thumbs up it helps me a lot and yeah i would definitely see you guys in the next one but for now it is bye guys au revoir